What's up everybody welcome back so i had some footage shot once already but the audio was absolute shit on it more importantly hope you guys are having a great day so a little bit of catch up here now i didn't go into i, I didn't really feel the need to shoot you know how to on any of this stuff i mean you guys know how to pull an intake charger pipes turbo Drain coolant, oil, and all that fun stuff, and remove a hood. You know, it's, it's pretty simple stuff, pretty basic. So, but we've got the truck torn down, or we've started tear down. Uh, we did create kind of a little, bit of, a little bit of a mess here. So we're gonna go ahead and put that on pause. Uh, we're actually gonna run in here shortly, and I'm gonna catch you guys up on the stuff that I did. Uh, downstairs so for my RC family I didn't forget about you guys I love you too so I'm gonna catch you up on that but we're gonna give it a day for everything to dry up uh, so that way we can get the bumper off the front of the truck and then get the intercooler out the radiator and all that fun stuff and then uh, we're gonna work on getting the transmission out uh, trans and transfer case out uh, because I'm going to service that too because you know those are sweat horsepower as well and then uh, I think that's about it you know it should be pretty much should be pretty straightforward you know just fixing leaks so we're pretty excited about it we did pick up another item for the Cummins so Thankfully, not yet. You know, my channel hasn't become popular enough, and not enough people are, are seeing it. But you guys see all that rust, that nastiness? We got another door. So from the same from the same place we got the white hood from, which you know we're we got all this ugliness here and that there. It's just it's beat up. It's seen better days. You know, there's a nasty gap here between the grill and the... Oh, cool, you can see my camera. There's a nasty gap here between the grill and the hood. So that'll be a nice upgrade. We're, we're slowly... We're making the Cummins great again. 
miss the alley. So, and along with that, you know, we're gonna get the fog lights out of the front there. We're gonna put the LED pods, we're gonna recess those back in. So, now, tomorrow's video, because I'm gonna try to do this daily, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to keep you guys uh, in the loop and up to speed on what we're doing, you know, as we do it. You know, Cummins content, it's always great. So, try to keep you guys up to speed as this goes on, you know, as we start getting into the nitty gritty of things. And, uh, you know, hopefully this goes, goes really, really smooth. Thankfully, the clutch and all that is still good in this, so it'll, you know, it'll just be one of those deals where we drop everything, get it out of the way, service the motor, put it back together, and just let the wife give her absolute help. So, on that note, I'm going to see you guys inside. Her sea room. Um, to my truck followers and friends and family out there, if this is the part where you guys want to skip to the end... Uh, I, I don't blame you. I trust me. I don't blame you. We'll we'll catch you on the next one. So thank you. So anyway, back to it. So we got our Revo spec axles in there, and our hub assemblies. We got the Talon tires on the front. The front's all solid. That's ready to go. We're working on the rear right now. Um, I do got to clean that up some because that just looks like garbage. I got the motor out here. Um, so to my RC family, um, Instagram, do it in the comments below, whatever it is. If anybody can help me out on this, it would be so greatly, greatly appreciated. So the last time that I took the motor out of the T-Max, uh, before this time, you know, I got it all installed, did all the wiring, everything's fresh on it. This thing's only got maybe a couple tanks of fuel in it. But when I put this all back together... All the starter did was click like a bad starter and you know it, it won't turn over the, the the motor turns over by hand nothing's binding up it's got great compression um, I can get it actually to turn over with the glow plug out of it if I remember correctly I'll have to charge up I will have to wire up a battery and hook it up to the starter so I I'm pretty sure that it rotates without the glow plug in it but as soon as you put the glow plug back in it she it doesn't do anything so i don't know if it's a weak starter the, on an easy start or what it is but you know i took the cover off nothing's binding the gears i don't get it so if anybody could help me out that would be greatly appreciated i, I thank you for it but now i don't know if i'm going to shoot any more of this um Actually, I tell you what, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and play the footage, what little bit of footage that I did get. It's going to be kind of like a, uh, a time lapse. Um, we'll see how much of it's actually good or not. I have to do the, I'm going to do the same thing with the coming, so this isn't going to be a very, very exciting video. And I apologize for that, you know, technical difficulties with the equipment, which I feared. I mentioned that in the last video. I was afraid of that, and it happened. So I'm going to go ahead and play that now.
wrench works box. We got all the we got the rear stuff here. We're gonna clean that up. Um, I do have somewhere in here. So this here has my spool in it. So when you go to turn this, both sides turn evenly. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the back for you know better better four-wheel drive action, you know, corners a little better. In the dirt, in the dirt. Before you guys stare at me, this thing is it I don't race it, it's just it's a field basher and you know rips through my yard and tears up the grass. That's it. So don't hose me. Don't hose me. So uh, we got that to do. I had to clean up the chassis a little bit more. You know, I'm gonna clean that stuff up, like I mentioned before. Um, probably gonna work on this a little bit more tonight. You know, probably talk to you some through some of the stuff that I'm doing, some of the stuff that I find. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see where this takes us. So I appreciate you guys riding along with me on this. I appreciate all your support. Uh, it, it means the world to me, guys. It, it really does. And I thank you for it. Okay, so I lied. We ended up going to the store last night. It is a different day. So we ended up going to the store last night, had some dinner, watched some mega truckers, and, uh... Well, as you can see, our progress... We didn't make any. So, we are going to... This is just going to be an update video. I apologize. Um, it's Sunday here now. So we have all of next week off. The, the kids will be in daycare for a minute. And we're going to probably go outside today, clean up the mess underneath the Cummins. That way we're ready to go first thing bright and squirrely on Monday. It's supposed to be beautiful weather. So we'll, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll tackle that. And then, uh, you know, I might come down here and burn a little bit of midnight oil, getting this stuff set up, getting a little more progress on this. So I appreciate you guys stopping back in. Again, I apologize for the lack of content. You know, it's kind of been, it's kind of been a little bit of weird, a little bit weird around here, if I can learn to speak. So, but I want to thank you guys for all the support again. That, that does mean the world to me. I, I really do appreciate it. You know, I was really, really nervous when I decided to even start doing this. So thank you all so, so much. I, I really do appreciate it. So we're actually going to head outside, which is where the next video is going to start. So until next time, take care. We'll see you. Remember, hit that like button. It really, really helps me out with the videos. Uh, it gives me feedback. And if you haven't already subscribed, Take care, and we'll see you later.